course, we are very interested. How did you first get motivated to contribute to Widow's Hope? Uh, so one Sunday, um, we were going through kind of a tough time. Uh, my oldest son was having some um, uh, issues um, some, and had to be hospitalized. So my husband was there with him, and I came by myself to church with the younger two. And during the service, the founder of Widow's Hope um, gave a presentation about the work that um, his organization was doing with the widows of India. And um, we were going through a tough time, but seeing what those women were going through uh, so much harder than what we were going through, and it just really touched my heart that Widow's Hope was reaching out um, and showing the love of Jesus to those widows. And um, one, I wanted to be a part of it. So um, when I could, I talked to my husband about it. and He was agreed that um, we should help donate to this organization. Um, so that's, that's what we decided to do. Christian, why do you think generosity is important? Uh, I think it's important because, one, because it shows love. Um, it's, we're commanded, right? That's the, the greatest of everything is love. Um, and it's, it's, it's agape love, right, which is love that um, doesn't expect anything in return. You do it out of, out of your heart. You know, we see what, what Jesus did for us, um, and we try to live that life and, and, and try to live that example. A lot of Christians are confused about what the Bible teaches about giving. Could you elaborate on that a little? Yeah, uh, I, I think of Deuteronomy chapter 16. Um, there's a portion in there where it says, uh, each person as they're able to should give based on the blessings that, 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 that God is giving you. You know, we're blessed with, you know, with, with a good salary. Um, and we just like to find, a, find ways and organizations to, to give to. Um, and, you know, when Jenny talked to me about, about Widow's Hope, um, you know, it touched me as well. And, and, I, and I said, yeah, let's absolutely, let's, you know, let's do it. Also, if you think about it biblically, um, in Malachi 3, it says God speaks. It's the only place in the Bible where God says, test me, test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven. So it speaks about giving. So, yeah, it totally aligns with what you what you just said. Yeah, and I'm reminded of the um, words of Jesus, is more blessed to give than to receive. It's something we want to show as an example to our children, to give generously, to live lives generously. And God has given us so much. He has blessed us um, with so much in our lives that we want to share that with others. And we're grateful for the opportunity to give to others, that Widow's Hope gives us a chance to love on widows in India, that we would never have that chance on our own. But Widow's Hope provides that opportunity that God can love those widows through us and through the organization. Widows and orphans, you know, widows, right? We're always commanded to help widows and orphans. Um, and, and this is just one way that, that we can be a part of that. Thank you so much. Did you know that in the past, widows in India were forced to burn themselves on the funeral pyre of their husbands? This brutal practice was called sati. While sati has been abolished, cultural norms and traditions still prevent widows from remarrying, leaving them alone and without hope for a new partner. Would you consider investing in the life of a widow in India? These women who have lost their partners face a lifetime of isolation and financial hardship. But you and I have the opportunity to become her partner, showing her that she is not alone. If we don't extend the love of Christ to them, who will? Thank you for your contribution.